Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Here we'll take a look how to change the maximum post size configuration on Mac for PHP. Now to be able to do that, make sure that your terminal is up and running and then after that type in PHP in it. Now with this you will see what version of PHP you're running. In my case I'm running PHP 8.3 as you can see over here. Now over here I'm going to copy this path because in this path we see that we have PHP in it. So I'm going to have Vim and paste it and then let's open it up. So once you open it up, we, we should look for the maximum post size. And to do that, you can hit slash and then this hat and then you can just simply write post and hit enter. Now over here, we do see that it says eight megabyte, but I don't want to increase it to much longer or bigger size. So over here, I'm going to do like this hit I so that I can insert and then one zero two four now with this I'm gonna be able to upload almost one gigabyte of file size now it's up to you how much you want to upload and then hit this ES key button and we also need to change another place so let's hit slash over here and this hit button and then over here look for upload max and then hit enter and over here I want to do the same thing so that's why I'm going to go ahead and hit enter sorry hit I for insert and 1024 and then hit ESK button so you understand that if you want to make any changes you should look for it and make the changes and after that once you are done you need to hit this button over here this is colon and then WK for saving now with this, we made changes to our php.ini file, but it's not going to take effect immediately. So to make sure that it can take effect, you need to install this package over here, brew tap homebrew, and actually it's called services. So let's hit enter. With this, it's going to actually install some packages. One of the packages is called FPM. Actually, this is the one that would help us to take this changes to take effect. All right, so I'm done over here. Now, all I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and restart my PHP 8.3. So that's why over here, we're going to do brew services and then restart and then PHP at 8.3. With this, the changes we made would be able to take effect. So once it has been done like this, it means that whatever the changes you made in your php.ini file, they would be staying there for a long time, as long as your computer exists. So that's how you go ahead and change the configuration files on Mac PHP.